here we are in the dock in Lunenburg. Uh, crew are behind us here getting the ship ready for another day of uh, harbor tours. Every morning they scrub the decks, the uh, bright work is wiped down with fresh water and then the brass is polished. Uh, so for the parents, when the kids go home, they'll be able to polish brass as well as clean toilets and wash dishes. I had a really interesting conversation with a WestJet pilot the other day. We often look at, at the deckhands as a group of people, as just deckhands. And she was asking some of their history and, and I said, well, they're deckhands, they come to us and they learn to sail. And then as the crew were walking past me, I said, well, you know, that guy's a welder and that guy's an electrician and that person is a physicist and begin to realize that inverse background, not only of where the people come from and what they've done before they join us, but what they have done and what they will become when they leave us. So that sort of work ethic and, you know, the ability to be proud of something and to donate their time to something bigger than them is a great lesson to be learned. So speaking of the crew, we've had them often at sea lately. We were down in St. Margaret's Bay. We went down to Hubbard's and then we were at the head of St. Margaret's Bay and we're also in Terrence Bay. Terrence Bay to me is a great place. It's a small fishing village not far from Halifax, Sambro. There's great historical pictures of, of Terence Bay, which you can sort of compare and contrast to the, maybe some of the drone footage that we shot while we were there anchored. So we had, I guess, 350 people visit the ship while we were in Terence Bay. So that's a great, great port visit for us. We we're at head of St. Margaret's Bay. We had a group of paddle boarders come out and see us. That's always appreciated. And then Hubbard's is always a great place great place to be. The crew enjoy getting a chance to go ashore and I think the blue tuna is a famed a favorite of the of the crew. The other thing we got to do is we were able to sail past Peggy's Cove so there's absolutely iconic shots taken. Lots of photographs taken of the of the lighthouse with the ship in the background. First day we sailed past under the four lower sails it was a bit rolly. Some good sailing conditions maybe not the best for topsails and then the next day I sent the crew aloft up into the rig and they, they set topsails and we sailed past Peggy's Cove a couple of times and then carried sail in right into Terence Bay where Len Wagg, the one of our great photographer friends, was there waiting for us and he saw a really fantastic shot again with the drone of the ship under sail making the entrance into Terence Bay. It's always great to see those photos. It's, it's like the photos that you might see that Troy Brake or others do here in Lunenburg when we're sailing. If we're doing something special we'll call them and they'll come out and, and shoot the ship and you get some really special shots that we can't get ourselves, but if someone with a drone can, can come out and, and film the crew up aloft and topsail set and with the iconic Lunenburg in the background, then that's very positive. So over the next little while, we've got some more harbor cruises to do. We'll keep doing those until the end of September. And I think there's space there, so don't be afraid to give the office a call and, and come and see us and, and go for a sail on the ship. The last Saturday of the month is our alumni sail. So we open the ship up to alumni and all the Proceeds from the ticket sales go to the uh, Nick Nickerson Scholarship Fund. So that goes to uh, Blue Nose crew members who are going to pursue a career uh, at sea. Uh, so it's a small bit of money for them and, and they can uh, take that and apply that to their studies. There's some neat things going on in Lunenburg this Saturday. There's a September Classic Yacht Race. There's some Dory shenanigans going on as well Saturday morning. And uh, yeah, come and see us. Come and visit the ship before we shut down at the end of September.